Sunflower Showdown, Kansas visiting Kansas State in the purple riding high after that big win in Texas. And Jordy Nelson, excellent on special teams, excellent as a returner. K-State's defense, though, will be tested. I know the competition hasn't been very good, but man, Geno's offense, Reesing and company throwing the ball all over the place. What's worth remembering here, though, is that the last time that Kansas scored a touchdown in the Bill Snyder Family Stadium was back in 99. They've done nothing but kick field goals in the three games since then. So look at the defensive ranks of those opponents for Kansas and ask yourself how meaningful are those statistics. This is one of those games I think that's going to reveal a lot about both teams. Of course, Kansas State showed a lot of heart winning at uh, Austin when few people gave them a chance. And this story will explain where Kansas State has found inspiration for this season. Because if they wanted to find that example of a bunch of young guys working together for higher purposes than just individual glory, individual goals, they found such an example less than a half hour away from their campus. A group of guys wearing a different kind of uniform and serving a much deeper purpose. And in just about three hours, Kansas State's players formed a bond that will last for a lifetime. Tom Rinaldi has this story. They wear their gear. They run their drills. They work for victory. But this season at Kansas State, the notion of team and the meaning of mission is different. For the Wildcats, it began one frigid and dark morning in January with a 20-minute bus ride from campus where another team was preparing for another kind of mission at Fort Riley, Kansas. I just said to myself, I've got to be the craziest coach in the country. Here I have a place that trains leaders every single day and we haven't taken advantage of it. I think Coach Prince wanted us to see what hard work really is like and to know that the kind of work that they do really is very meaningful and for us to take the kind of attitude that they have about it and put it into our own work. Fort Riley is the home of the 1st Battalion 28th Infantry Regiment of the U.S. Army, a unit also known as the Black Lions. I was pretty excited. I've always wanted to have a, a civilian come and do what I do for a day and that, I thought it was pretty cool. Hey, listen up! You start from the god on, you finish on the god on, got it? Oh! 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 Hey, Delta Company! Found out last night we're going to South Baghdad. If you ain't ready now, you gotta get ready. Three, two, one, begin! The idea was simple. Soldiers and players side by side. In sub-zero temperatures for four hours, they came together to cover an obstacle course more than four miles long. With 50-pound backpacks, they ran sprints, climbed walls, hauled tires. Each man had to carry another on his back for half a mile. The guy who stood about five foot five, maybe 160 pounds, 150 pounds, threw me on his shoulders and ran like I was nothing. The man's a warrior. You couldn't pick out who was a football player. Uh, you couldn't pick out, you know, who was a black lion. You just saw, two, you saw guys working together. Uh, and I thought that was the beautiful thing about it. Because we're working as a team together and trying to accomplish a mission together. We have to trust each other. So if, if one of those guys would carry me and drop me, well, I'll get right back on top of him again. K-State guys, we have been inspired by watching you this year. <laughs> we just stood up this battalion last year, and we're all about developing leaders in the Army. These guys that you were out here competing with today, in a month will be in Baghdad, walking patrols down those streets. Those orders came true. Less than a month after working out with Kansas State players, the soldiers were deployed to Iraq. Before the football season even began, three black lions died. I think it was very poignant for our players to see that in the early going there, there were several young men who they had worked out with uh, who, who wouldn't be coming home. To really face to face with it and, and see the names and remember the faces, it's almost as if a part of you is gone with them because that experience that you shared 
that you have together, you know, that person is gone. And it, it does change you. It does make you think differently about a lot of things. So, the notion of team and the meaning of mission are different. In a season that began with a day unforgettable, with a bond indelible. It was a great honor to go out there and work out with those guys and go through some of the stuff that they have to go through. The only difference is uh, when their season starts, it's live bullets flying. When our season starts, we're, we're playing a game. I know our, our wins when we have them are, are very exciting for those guys and comforting to them when they come back uh, from their missions. And for us, we, uh, we, we, every one of the missions that they have that comes back successful, uh, we're really pleased to. Now the temperature that day that they trained together was actually about 10 below zero before dawn. Ian Campbell to honor the Black Lions wearing one of their patches on his jersey for home and away games have been given a special dispensation by that unit. The sobering news is that the two Black Lions you heard from in that piece have been injured in combat. The good news is that they are recovering well. Now there is a significant satellite delay but we want to go to Iraq now. The 1st Battalion 28th Infantry Regiment and Stephen Harker is a 1st Lieutenant. Ask him how this bond between the Black Lions and the Wildcats has helped perhaps them feel a little bit closer to home in the midst of their daily danger. Stephen? Well, Sean, uh, I could say basically it's, it's always nice to have something to, to look forward to when you, uh, we do get home. And it, it's especially nice last week uh, after the Texas win. Uh, granted, it was a little delayed, but uh, that was always, a, always an inviting thing to have at the battalion, have something uh, uplifting to look forward to. Uh, it was especially personal to me being an uh, alumni from K-State and uh, the fact that I work with a Texas uh, fan, so that was, that was a good week for me to rub it in. All right, Stephen, thank you very much. We appreciate all that you're doing for our country over there. Stay safe. Get home safely. The crowd here in Baton Rouge behind you as well. And around the globe, lots of interested folks in what happens in the college football field, regardless of their higher mission. We'll be back.